Hey guys, thank you for clicking on this video. My name is Ashley. I create fashion and lifestyle content. I also have a blog, www.lifeavecashley.com, so be sure to check that out. And I hope you like this video enough to subscribe. So let's jump right into this video. So for today, I'm actually going to be doing a Black-owned business haul. So the first item that I got is this beautiful skirt. I wish I could remember what it's called. I'll pop it up somewhere on the screen with the name of the skirt and how much the skirt was. It's from a black owned business. I believe it's called Hanifa. Hanifa, Hanifa, I'm not t quite sure. This is from her pink label Congo collection. And that collection got a lot of praise because of how it was done. I think it was like a, the 3D like runway style. And like, it was just like dope because I believe it dropped in the middle of quarantine. So, that was like a really dope moment for her. So I'm gonna show you guys how it actually looks like on me. I can insert a clip or I can just do a slide by photos of whatever, whichever how it looks like. I got it in a size medium, but in all honesty, I really do wish I got like a small or an extra small, probably a small. So I believe that the waist for the medium is 30 inches and a half, 29 inches for the small and then for the extra small i believe it's 27 and a half but i am a 28 inch waist i tell you guys this just so that if you guys have the same measurements if you actually go to the about me section on my youtube channel you'll be able to look at my measurements because i put it there so that when i try on clothes and give you guys styling tips you guys can have a point of reference because that's one thing is my hardest thing about shopping online is not knowing what size to get and then the return policy blah 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 it's just a lot I actually went to get the back cinched in to my tailor just because of the fact that it just kept dropping from my waist because it was literally like two inches and a half more than what I needed. I posted a few pictures of how it looks like on me on Instagram and you can see it right over here. Be sure to follow me on Instagram as well, avec underscore Ashley, so you can never miss any time I drop some heat on a gram, okay? The price for this mini skirt to me was a little up there so it was 115 dollars just for a skirt which is just like wow um to be honest but for me to support a black owned business and this was just so cute and i'm just like you know what we do spend a lot of money at other companies so it's like why not just you know put our money circulated back into our community if that makes sense you know what i'm saying i will say that this brand is a little bit on the higher end of like um higher end of fashion especially if we're, you're just like you know regular folk like how you know i am in terms of like finances like i'm not rich just because i gotta use a piano <laughs> not yet <laughs> but yeah so this is the first one and it's just super super cute i really like this now moving on to my bags my black owned bags that i got so I like to keep them in their duster and their bags that they came with so that it can just always stay neat. Because as much as I do love fashion, I don't know what it is. I actually struggle with keeping my things, like taking good care of my clothes, which is, I don't know. So like that's something that I'm honestly working on is just always trying to keep my clothes maintained and looking top tier all the time. So this is Brandon Blackwood NYC. And you just open this one up and this is the end systemic racism taupe and the color, I think this is taupe or tan, but this is the original. This is the first one that he came out with before he came out with variations of colors. But I love this one because I want to go more into like a clean, simple, minimalistic style. So I think that since this is such a neutral color, it can go with anything and like I don't know what this fabric is called maybe it's like because it's tweed or something or like woven or something whatever if you guys know the material I'm talking about just drop it in the comment section down below because your girl is struggling trying to figure out this material but this material since it's like this I think this is versatile for the winter and the spring even though the nude neutral colors are mainly used in like fall winter season but since it's such a nice woven fabric, this definitely does give you spring and summertime vibes as well. If you guys want more details about this bag, I actually have a video. 
I'll pop it up here and that's like a more in-depth about how much it costs and all that stuff. And here's this one. This is the second one. This color is it, y'all. This is this is doing it. This is doing it. I love like green. You guys know pink and green are my favorite colors. So this shade of green and then the golds. Y'all not gonna tell me that this ain't heat right here. Like this, this is heat. He stopped making the end systemic racism bags, the totes. So I wanted to make sure that I had at least two, just in case they become souvenirs or, you know, they become, you know, they become like Birkins in a couple years. And at least, you know, I have one. I actually have two. I actually bought this for my sister, but you know, a sister's, what was yours is mine as was mine is mine. Especially as a little sister. If you want to see me unboxing this bag and I talk a little bit more details about it, check out my sister's podcast. I put it on her Instagram reels. And that actually went crazy. That had like 3,000 views in like minutes. I was like, oh, okay, girl. So this is dope. You guys definitely should check out my sister's podcast. I'll pop it up over here and all the links down below. My other bag is from Telfar. You guys have to follow me on TikTok. I act up on TikTok. I love it over there. This pool blue color is, is it, y'all. It's it. And I actually just got myself another bag. Got myself another bag. I got this in the chocolate brown and my, and my sister got it in the medium chocolate brown. So we just both wanted chocolate brown. And here we are. You guys should definitely follow me on Instagram. Follow me on TikTok so that you can see how I style all my black owned items. Do you feel me? So the next few items are actually candles. And as some of you guys may know, I love a good fragrance. I love candles. I love them. It's actually from a local black owned brand that's actually based out in Boston. I actually know this person. Uh, her name is Peggy. Hey Peggy, if you're watching. Her business is called Lips Body Utopia. I grabbed a few goodies and I'm gonna show you guys what they are. I got myself three candles. They're 100% natural soy candles. This one is Summer Nights. So Summer Nights fragrance notes. It's berries, orange, grapefruit, papaya, and sweet coconut. It smells bomb. This is definitely probably like a kitchen scent because I like the kitchen to smell fruity. Um, or um, maybe the living room. Where do you guys think I should place this? Comment down below. Come in these bubble wraps which I appreciate because I don't want it to break while it's inside of there. And the next one is from her signature collection again. And this one is called Cabin Nights. And Cabin Nights, fragrance notes, citrus, coconut, sandalwood, vanilla, and oak. And then the next one that I got is called French vanilla and it's handmade so shout outs to her I like when people take their time with their products and actually like try to do it themselves <laughs> I think that's dope so this one smells like French vanilla this one smells like French vanilla but in all honesty it gives me a little bit more of like um what is it called um frosting or like was it cake cake batter something like that you know how like there's always a scent that's like a cake batter scent um this is what it's giving me more of all of her scents are very 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 potent and they're very strong which i do like a strong scent but i did want to let you guys know that these scents are very strong um so if you like for example like I had to like close up the box because my um my sister just got a dog and it was just like so strong so I was just like I don't know if well my sister just got a puppy so I don't know if like the scents would be too strong for him but it's potent and I, I I personally like candles that when I walk into a room I want the the room to smell fresh or smell exactly like that candle that I paid for if I if I want cabin nights in the middle of the summer when I come in my room that is what I'm looking for if I want French vanilla that kind of smells like cake batter if that's the scent that I'm going for that is what I want in my room 
but yeah so i like that um what else did i get oh and then she gave me this cute sample i think this is a cream i'm assuming let me see oh it's a body butter and when you open and you guys know pink is my color one of my colors open it up it's placed in there so beautifully gotta love it huh i got one more item which is actually not for me but it's a sugar sugar body scrub men's collection there's coconut oil almond oil grapeseed oil Je jehovah oil sugar and cool water scent you guys are probably like girl why'd you get this oh it's strong oh my these scents is potent like oh they're strong oh i'm over here making you guys smell my bad but this is how it looks like inside they're they're strong these so i would say probably for the scrubs just use a little bit goes a long way but this isn't for me because this is for the men's collection. I got this for my little brother so that he can just have something. I try to get something just nice. I want to be more of a gift giver. That's not necessarily my love language, but it doesn't hurt to get gifts. So that's definitely something I was like, oh, my brother would like this. So I got it for my brother. And that's another thing that I like about her brand. It's unisex. So it's both men and women. All right, guys, that's a wrap. So that's all the items that I have for this time on my black owned business haul. So guys, I want you guys to comment down below all the places that you guys find that are black owned and you guys just share the knowledge. I actually want to transition my closet to become 70-30, 70% black owned businesses and 30% others. I hope you enjoyed watching this video just as much as I enjoyed creating it for you guys. I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.